Hi guys, today we are going to talk about our custom roof rack but before we are camping in here and then look at the view over there it's a beautiful town in front of your eyes This is custom roof rack and we design ourselves and oh, before that this is not sponsored by the uh, manufacturer and we paid our money and then we designed it so like we are not expert anything about design or <laughs> roof rack but we have an idea what we want to put it on the roof so we use a 3d uh, program to like design ourselves and as find the manufacturer that like who can build this one and then like we send a design that like the, the one guy he say yes I can make it when we design the uh, roof rack we want to take advantage from the roof you know side so this length is like front edge to the end of edge and even the width side edge of side and then edge of side so it's quite bigger than like a normal roof rack when we ask the builder to uh, build the roof rack, we can choose two materials. One is a steel, one the other one is stainless steel. But we want the uh, this roof rack, you know, stay longer, so we choose uh, stainless steel. So this letter also custom build, and we cannot put in here. You can see that like, our meter is here, so we move here, and also you can see the letters. Before we didn't have this kind of non-slip stickers but since we are using it we have noticed that these crocs can be slipped and we can be in dangerous situations so we found a tape that perfect for this and it attaches it so i will not slip over today so good right <laughs> okay let's go up and i will show you details of the roof rack okay Woo. nice so we know that we are going to put the roof box because as you know our van is tiny so we don't have that much storage area down there but we designed the roof rack and we know that like what kind of roof box we want to do and we find the uh, size and the length and everything through the internet and then we base on this size to build design the, our roof rack so you can see this is not that small is a touring s but we have a lot of stuff in there like toolbox and summer clothes we rarely wear it actually we keep having winter and winter winter but everything here in roof rack this part is based on this roof box model so when we put the roof box we just decide to put roof box this way so that we can sit and then like open it up and then reach deeper side and like other way is like i can go up to the uh, driver's seat and then like can reach it um, the roof box too this roof box is not open only one way both way one thing I love about this box because it's matched with the TV color we didn't plan it but it worked well okay you're gonna see the funny thing so you can see the like different color of TV this one is original one and like if you watched the last video our Ventor if you didn't click the eye here you can see and we did like vinyl wrapping ourselves and when we were doing the roof it was impossible I feel like my neck was kind of like like this so we decided not to like mm, don't, don't do it, no one can see it so we didn't do but now you guys see that <laughs> <laughs> when you move here you can see so we really need to have the extra tires two 10 liter jerry cans underneath and that we also need to put the uh, solar panels because we need uh, energy always to charge up the, our computer and uh, when we move to this area <laughs> it's quite a mess but we didn't plan to put anything when we left Korea we want to put this one as the our sitting area and watching the great view over there and to put the chair in there but the thing is when you're living in the van yes everything filled up with the stuff you can see we have the washing water and then there's a drinking water and this one is a we add up <laughs> during the travel is IKEA box as that is a generator and if we didn't have it before but yeah we add up during the uh, travel because sometimes you need it so we added that one so right now the reason why I'm sitting in here 
because we know that like we are gonna put the roof box so this roof areas we are not gonna step in that much so where I'm here I need to be careful but I'm gonna stand up for you guys so it's a just bar so I have to be careful where I'm stepping because uh, TB's roof is so delicate if I step on the roof it's just like boop, and then she will have a bump on her head so and the other way we are gonna step a lot and moving around a lot there so we want to have kind of safe way to walk on the roof so we have a net still in the bottom but here's we don't have and then actually or original design we didn't have the bar areas when you climb up the ladder end of it if it's open area it's hard to climb up without the uh, handle so like he said like having that bar is important so it is easy to us to climb now original version i think we might be struggle i think that's the reason why you need expert like him so this one this uh design wasn't in our original design this uh idea is from the builder and we said like we want to put the shovel too is there any way that you can do it and then he just uh planned for this kind of metal parts and then if he said like you know it's the extra one if you want to put other stuff you can put it too and then he said like you just disattach it there's another holes like roof right here and here you can move easily wherever you want to put it so it's a really brilliant idea and we use this one a lot and we wish that we have one more shovel <laughs> and also I'm gonna talk about the other side too this is our a little big version of umbrella this is awning but you can see it's a really tiny version of the awning like I think most of the van has a really huge awning but we have a type buzzer when we start to travel and plan this so we got the cheapest version we thought that this size is enough but actually it's not enough it's just we think as the uh, big umbrella so this is just attached to the uh, roof rack and then this attach attached easily too so it's good to have roof rack if we didn't have roof rack it might be a little bit hard to work on it but yeah it's good to have it the name of the company that built this roof rack is Chairwork! So long time ago, we don't know what kind of company we need to contact for the custom roof rack and we asked the viewers how we can build a custom roof rack so they gave us like a names of, of the company so there's a two names of the company and we contact with the first one and then we uh, design all the stuff and then we arrange the schedule but he, that company like um, got busier because he has a uh, other contract to build everything the last minute he cancelled so we were so desperate to find the company it's like oh my god we have only two weeks left before we left the Korea what are we gonna do and then thanks for the viewers and then subscribers they send us information of this company and then it worked perfectly for us and smoothly and we finish everything before we left and we carry this one on our travel and then it's kind of key for us when you don't have that much storage area inside of the van <laughs> maybe you let it like notice like something is on in here it is our new solar panel if you watch our series about the Russia van travel and we had a lot of problem electricity so we um, two months ago we ordered through the China I know we got it like a month ago we start to use it it's only 50 watt but it is working much much better than 100 watt the reason why we can like move can i move yeah we can move like this yeah <laughs> the sun you know like we can angle it so it just get more power and we don't have any problems seriously when it's like weather is perfect like this we can charge our laptop twice and then like our phone and then other stuff so it's working really well it's perfect for us but i shouldn't make the uh, shadow like this because it will block the uh, power we have like our like solar power system build a three part series if you guys didn't watch it you can click it here and in the future we are gonna like make the update what is change uh, on the uh, solar panel so you can check it later too I 
hope you like our videos. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you are new to our channel, please click this one and subscribe. And if you didn't check the, our event tours, please check here too. We are right now touring the uh, Eurasia. So if you are curious about our travel, click here and check that out. It's pretty good. Bye-bye.